Hey guys, I'm Tettyworks and in this Procreate tutorial I will show you how to paint sushi and chopsticks using oil paint brushes step by step. Please download free resources in the video description and if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. The size of the canvas that I'm going to use today is 2000 by 2500 pixels and I've set DPI to 300. For this painting I've created a mini set of oil paint brushes that are actually a part of a bigger set available on my Patreon together with tens of other exclusive brush sets and in-depth tutorials. Link to my Patreon page is in the video description. These four brushes are available to download for free along with the color palette on my Gumroad, which is also linked below the video. Since we are going to use these bright colors to paint sushi, it's better to change the background color. We can do it easily by clicking on the background color and selecting the first color from the palette. Now let's grab first salmon color and proceed to painting. In the brush set, I will pick oil paint too. This brush doesn't have any color dynamics, unlike these two, but it has nice texture that look like fibers of meat or in this particular case fish. Let's first make it low size, between 3 and 4 percent, and outline a shape of a rolled salmon. I will just draw two curves on the sides. That will go with a small angle. I am applying low pressure here and drawing the first curve. The other one will go like this. I will make it a bit less curvy. Let's connect them at the bottom. With another curve like this. For now we just need to determine the shape. And later we will paint it. Let's now do the same on top. I will draw a few smaller curves here. And match it with the tip. Now that we have the idea of the shape, let's increase the size and paint it. I will first set it to around 20% and start making horizontal strokes. If you lift the pencil up from the canvas, you will get the texture on the intersection. When the strokes are overlapping, we can lower the brush size a little to work on the edges, so they will be textured, but more accurate. We can try making strokes in different directions, back and forth, but they will all go horizontally, like this. Let me work on the lower edge, make it more textured. Here I will lower the size a little bit more. Work on this corner. Refine the edge here. And finish it on the left side. You can make the size bigger here again. And try to make strokes the following way. Following the same direction. Let's now finish it here. Also paint horizontally and determine the edge more. Working in the same technique. 
Let's make sure we don't have any gaps, so we couldn't see the background color. Which is this dark green. I will just make a couple of more strokes inside. I think it is textured enough, so we can proceed to shading. I think we can do it on a new layer, for better colors. So let's go to the layers, click on this plus icon, and after that clip the layer to the existing one. This way all the strokes will stay inside the shape. We only need to change the color to Salmon 2. And I will continue using the same brush, but with a bigger size. Let's increase the brush size to 30% or so. And start making horizontal strokes in the center. With low pressure. Here I'm also lifting the pencil up to get the texture. On the overlapping strokes. This way we will get these fibers. On the fish. Let's make a couple of more strokes. Also here on top. And at the bottom. We can try to press more. To get slightly darker color. Okay, I think this will be enough. Now let's try to highlight the edges. And for that I will change the color into Salmon 4. Let's keep this dark color for later. And with this color, I will start making strokes like this. From the edge inwards. Also applying low pressure here. Going down. We can try to do it with an angle. And highlight the lower edge. On the side. After that I will do the same on the right. Trying to follow the shape. Maybe we can even lower the brush size a little bit. And continue making strokes. Until they are overlapping with dark color. And the edges get light. I think this is done now. Maybe I will just highlight it a bit here. Like this. And after that we can try to add this seam in the center to divide this into two parts. Let's also do it on another layer. That we need to create above this one and then clip. I will do it with the help of the selection tool. Let's first change the color to Salmon 3, which is dark red. Click on this icon next to arrow and pick freehand. Let's start somewhere from the center and outline a curve like this. Match it here with the edge. Then I will go to the left side and finish the selection by tapping here. Let's also save it for later. So I will click on this heart icon. And then on plus. Now the selection is saved. Let's tap on the brush now. And start adding this dark color for the shadow. The size can be set to 26%. I will darken this part. Maybe we can lower the size a bit and add more darker strokes close to the center. Then I will draw a shadow this way. Let us match it with the edge. We can try to smudge it, like this, 
so it's not so sharp. Now we can deselect it. Then click on the selection again and load the selection that we saved. So let's click here again and pick the selection. After that I will invert it. So the opposite part will be selected. I already used this trick before and I think it is very handy. Let's tap on the brush again and add a few strokes here with a bigger size just to darken it in the center. Not so many. Ok, later when we add details, this sharp edge will be hidden. So we can deselect now. I think next we can paint the top part. And let's also do it on another layer. It will be created below the first one. Let's now grab this orangey color, Salmon 5, and paint the top part. Let's set the size to around 8% and first draw on the sides. On the left I will make sort of a line with an angle that will go to the right. Let's make it a bit curvy. And on the right side I will make it more rounded and it will go up. Like this. Now let's connect them in the center with a big curve. Maybe we can lower the size a bit to make the edge less textured. So I will first outline it. Determine the shape and then paint it with a bigger size, just as we did with the first shape. So I will increase it to 13% and make horizontal strokes to get the texture. Let's follow the shape here. And finish painting in the center. Also remove all gaps. So we don't see the dark color. We can make the size smaller here. And finish painting it. It may go a little down. Just a couple of more strokes. Let's make sure it is textured enough. And later we will draw rice here. Using other brushes. For the rice I will create a layer above this one. Select rice color. And change the brush to oil paint 4. This brush already has color dynamics, so we will get a variety of colors. The size here is set to 38% and I will start making small strokes like this. On top of the shape. They should intersect and I will go to the right. Make them long like rice. They may go crisscross. Also horizontal and vertical. Just paint however you want. 
I will just make a few more strokes to remove all gaps here. So we just need to add more intersections. Some of the shapes can be smaller. The size will also depend on the pressure, since the brush is pressure responsive. A few final strokes here. They may go slightly upper, also on this part. And after that I would like to add highlights on it. So let's try to create a new layer right above this one. Go to the color disk and select pure white color by double tapping here on the light area. Also change the brush to oil paint too, with no color dynamics. This time I've set the size to 8%. And I will just make more strokes. In the same manner. They may also intersect each other. So it'll work like highlight. But still we can see some dark color as well. This gray. Let me add a couple of more highlights. But there will be one more layer on top. With caviar. Okay, now that we have rice, we can shade the part, which is on the layer 4, this one. Let's also create a new layer above it and clip it to keep all the textures inside. First I would like to add shadow under the rice, and for that I will be using salmon color too. With the same brush, we can just make the size bigger and start making strokes under it. Paint it this way. Go more to the right. Maybe we can make it slightly darker. Or even try to set it to overlay mode. Or soft light. I think I will just turn it into black. So I will set brightness to none. This way it's not so bright. And I think it works better. Now we can add highlights using this light color again. It's called Salmon 4. But we need to do it on another layer. Can be located between these two. And it will be in normal mode. I will just start adding highlights on the edges. Also here and on the right. Let me highlight this part a bit more here in the corner. Maybe also here close to the edge. But we will add more highlights with white color later. 
after we add the details. Alright, I think we now need to connect this shadow with the top part. So I will select this dark red color again, salmon 3. Lower the brush size and start drawing a line. This way. It may go with an angle. We just need to separate these two parts to make it look natural. Ok, I think now it is fine. Let's also draw rice at the bottom. It will be slightly thin, but still we need to draw it. So I will create a layer at the bottom, below all layers. And I think we can start with white color first. Maybe even use the same brush, but with smaller size. At around 4%. I will just draw like this. Sort of a curve. Let's paint it entirely. This way. And after that we need to draw the shadow. So I will grab this color called Caviar 2. Maybe let's create a new layer above this one. Then also clip it. I will increase the size a little bit. And paint on top of the shape. We can also make it curvy. Let's darken it even more by adding more strokes and maybe draw a few lines to imitate rice. Ok, I think this part is also ready. Let's start adding the details. I think we can merge these three layers and also these. After that I will create a new layer above this one, then clip it and set it to soft light. I'll be using white color together with oil paint too. Let's make it low size, around 3% and start drawing lines on the shape. They may go in different ways and widen at some parts. I'm also making these sketchy strokes. Let's draw another line starting from here. It'll go down. Then to the right side. And finish here. Let's also make it a bit wider on this side. I will draw another one. It may start from this edge. And go down as an arc. I will try to make it textured and sort of parallel to the previous line. I think we can draw one more as an arc. Let's also outline it here.
and draw a few lines on the right side. I will start with a small one. Go to the right as well and make it wider on the edge, like this. Let's now draw another one and make it more curvy. It'll go this way. And I will also make it wider here with the sketchy strokes. Let me draw one more. Starting from the edge like this. And going down with a curve. After we did that, we can do the same on top, but for that we need to create a new layer. Since this one is already clipped, we can create it on top of all layers, without adding a clipping mask. But I will also set the layers mode to soft light, to get the same effect. Let's just continue these lines. So it'll go here. Then I will continue this one. And one on the right. Let's try to move the layer down. To place it under the rise. Now it's better. I think I like how it looks now. But I would like to add even more highlights. To make it look more artistic. This time we will need a layer in normal mode. So let's create it on top. Right here. Let's use the same brush. But lower the size just a little bit. I will just add more strokes on the same lines. But this time thinner. To highlight them partially. We can put it here. Also on this line. Somewhere in the center. Here I will highlight this part. Then this one. And also work on the edge. We can try to change the size of the stroke by applying more pressure. Or increase the size if needed. I will just continue adding highlights here. Go to the right side. Maybe put it on the corner. And then continue from here. Finally highlight this edge. And also here. I think it got even better now. And we can start drawing caviar. Just one last line here at the bottom. And that's it. Let's merge these layers. Then these two. We can totally merge layer 9 and 10. Go to the layer with the rise. And create another one on top of it. To draw caviar. 
we can actually paint only one small piece and after that duplicate it multiple times. Let's select the base color, which will be caviar 1. Using oil paint 2 brush, I will paint a circle with a low size. It can be set to 3%. So I will first paint like this, without lifting the pencil up. Now we can adjust it and add more texture by tapping. When the shape is ready, we can start adding shading to it. So I will go to the layers, create another one above it and then clip. Let's start with the slight color on the right. I will increase the size to around 5% and make a stroke here on the left. We can try to make it without lifting the pencil up, so the colors will be blended. This way. And then I will tap a few times. Smudge it again. Let's also make a small stroke here on the right. Let it go like this. Now let's switch to this dark color, number 4, and add the shadows. First I will do it on the right side here. Tap a few times. And then also do it on the left. Right on the edge. Finally, I will select color number 3 from here and make more strokes inside. Let's also try to blend them. And check it out from the distance. I think it looks quite cool. I will adjust it a bit more. Try to smudge all the colors, but I'm still using it in brush mode. They will be smudged if we paint without lifting the pencil up. This is how the brush works. Let's check it out once again now. Maybe I will add a highlight more on this side. Now it is ready. Let's go to merge these two layers. And after that I will be duplicating this one many times. Let me first scale this one. I will make it slightly bigger. And then sharpen it to bring back the texture. Let me move it to the side. I'll put it somewhere here and after that start duplicating the layer. And moving them to the sides. This one will go upper. Then I'll duplicate another one and continue dragging them to different sides, also up and down. Until we have a bunch of caviar. This one will go upper. And down. And 
and to the right. Let's duplicate them one more time. I'll put it here. After that, select all these layers, or actually we can merge them instead of grouping. Then duplicate. Let's flip one of the layers and drag it to the side. I'll put it here. Then duplicate one of the layers again. And move it to the center. We can also try to rotate it or flip. I will place it here. And now we can try to check it out. Let me move this one. And then I will adjust the location of all the layers. Maybe scale it once again. And put it this way. Maybe I will duplicate it one last time. To put it here. Then it will go up. Ok, now I like how it turned out. Let's merge these layers. And after that add the shadow. For that we need to create a layer between these two. I will grab black color. And start painting under the caviar. Like this. without lifting the pencil up. It may go more to the right side. Adding more texture. And if it got too dark, we can go to lower the opacity of the layer. Just a little bit. Once we did it, all we need to paint is chopsticks. So I will select all these layers and create a group. Now we can rotate it clockwise, like this. And I will move it slightly upper and to the left. After that, I will create a layer above the group. Go to the color palette and select right chopstick color 1. I will also change the brush to oil paint 1. It will give us a very nice wooden texture. Let's set the brush size to 3% and first determine the thickness. I will start from the edge of the canvas. And go diagonally down. It is intersecting sushi and going as a straight line. We can make it even wider. Like this. Then I will draw another line. Make it sort of parallel. Let's continue painting it. And here on the tip I will make it more narrow. Also rounded. it. 
so we can make the size even lower. And paint it this way. Now that we have the shape, we can paint inside it. For that I will increase the brush size, let's say to 5%, and start making longer strokes. This way. Sort of stretching it. On the intersections, the color will still get darker, due to color dynamics. Let's make a few more strokes on this part. I will also make them longer here and paint the tip. Let's make sure we don't have any gaps here, so we don't see the dark color on the background. Also refine the edge if needed. And after that we can proceed to shading. So let's change the color to right chopstick tool for the highlight. Create a new layer above this one and then clip it. The size is set to 6%. And with low pressure, I will start making strokes on the right side. Back and forth. Here I am lifting the pencil up from the canvas. To get the texture. We can paint on the edge here. And then in the center. Highlight the tip as well, like this. After that I will change the color to third one, which is this orangey. And with this color I will paint on the left side, like this. These colors may intersect, but I will paint mostly on the edge, very close to it. Also making strokes up and down. After we edit this color, let's go back to the light one. And add more strokes, very close to the edge. For more highlights. It will also add volume. Let's go more down here. And finish it on the tip as well. Like this. The first chopstick is ready. We can draw the other one. But before that, I think we can add the cast shadow that it drops on the sushi. So we can totally merge these two layers. Go to the group. And create a layer here, above all layers in it. Let's try to use this dark color. And also change the brush to oil paint too. It's the one we used for shading the sushi. I will adjust the brush size. 11 or 12% will work, I think. And start making strokes under the chopstick. For the shadow. Let's continue. And darken it here on the tip. Under it. Just like this. Let me make the size bigger, add more shadow, and 
and paint a thin line on top. We can actually try to set it to multiply mode to make it even darker, but then lower the opacity. I will set it to 75%. Since we didn't clip the layer, we can see that the texture goes slightly outside the shape. And to remove it, instead of using eraser I will do this. I will go to the first layer, it's this one, get it selected, make sure there is no color fill option, but then I will invert the selection. So it will select the area outside it. After that I will go back to the layer in multiply mode and click clear. It will be removed. Now we can draw the second chopstick. But for that we need to create a layer under the group. So let's click on the plus icon and after that drag it down. Like this. Now in the color palette I will select this color for the left chopstick and switch to the previous brush, which is oil paint 1. Let's also first make it low size, a 3% and draw a line that will go almost from the corner. And I will change the angle a little bit, so it is not parallel. Now let's draw another line at some distance and try to make it almost the same thickness as the first chopstick. This time it may go parallel to the corner of the sushi. Let me adjust the edges a bit. I will make them more straight. Also this one. After that we can increase the size and paint inside. Making the strokes. We can make long ones. This way. And stretch the color. But I will try to remove the transparency. So later we can add a clipping mask. I think now it is fine. Let's create a new layer. Then clip it. And grab this light color. I will also apply it on the right side with a bigger size, but low pressure, highlighting the edge like this, by making multiple strokes. It may go down a little here, then I will also paint on this edge, but very close to it. After we did that, we can add the shadow, using this dark color, number 3. Let me also increase the size back and start painting from here. Try to blend these colors. And I will also add the shadow. Maybe make it even darker. Alright, let's check it out now. And the last step is totally optional. I just want to add a texture overlay. For that I will create a new layer on top of all layers. Select the light overlay color. And oil paint canvas. Let's make it full size and opacity. And just paint on the canvas like this. But then I will go to change the layers blending mode. 
Let's try color burn. It got very dark, so we can lower the opacity of the layer to see the subtle texture. Maybe you can't even see it on the video. So I set the opacity to 65%. The colors also got brighter. This is the difference. And at this point, our drawing is complete. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Tag me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon!